Hey, how's it going? Tonight I'm turning on the camera to try to attempt to answer the question, are all DJs the same? Well, a lot of DJs out there are automatically saying absolutely not. We can say that to our clients all day long, but what does it really mean? I'm going to tell you about what happened to me tonight. I had a client meeting. We're in the early preliminary stages of planning their ceremony and reception. Met at a Starbucks, had a coffee, had a nice chat, had some really good ideas going back and forth, and at the end of the meeting, the bride-to-be said, I'm just glad we have you and not the guy who was DJing my sister's wedding a couple of months ago. I said, okay, well, you've got me curious what happened. So, well, one thing, he disappeared for a half hour. We think he might have been outside smoking a joint or something. I said, okay, that's pretty bad. Then the groom-to-be chimed in and said, yeah, the guy showed up with one CD player. The sound system wasn't nice. The lighting wasn't very nice. None of it was very nice, and the guy couldn't read a crowd. And at 11 o'clock, it was so bad that they had to bring another DJ in to finish up the night. But by then... It had already really been ruined. So, okay, well, where did she find this guy? Oh, well, she went to this really affluent suburb and into this very nice office and this very nice gentleman at a desk greeted them and filled out paperwork with them and answered questions and, and you know, it was very flattering towards them. And um, yeah, so they thought that was the guy they were getting, but they got some other guy who screwed it all up. Okay, next question. How much did this end up costing? Somewhere between $1,500 and $2,000. This client, her sister, was so impressed with this office and the way this person was at the desk that she felt like that she was getting good value because she was getting somebody who could handle her event. Where actually what she walked into was a multi-op service. And they must have sent a new DJ, a bad DJ, maybe somebody called in sick. Who knows what happened, but at any rate... There was no value there. So, no, not all DJs are the same. Just because something might look great on the outside, ask questions. Make sure this is the person you're going to get. Make sure you're not going to get a flunky. Talk to the DJ who's actually going to be doing your wedding reception if you're a bride or a groom. And if you are a DJ, think about that. What a sales presentation, huh? And, and they sold it. No problem. But the product, unfortunately, really made them look bad. So, that's my vlog for today. And I welcome any questions that you have. You can either leave them in the comment section down here. Alternately, check me out on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I'm there now, too. You can ask me questions and send me stuff there as well. Until next time, practice and enjoy.